entrepreneurs behind bars accused of defrauding local banks and even making death threats. Roger Pollock, owner of the now shut down Buena Vista Homes, is facing federal charges tonight. He is suspected of diverting hundreds of thousands of dollars in construction loan proceeds for a project in Lake Oswego to Mexico. Jessica Morgard is live now digging deeper into what happened here. Jessica. And Kelly, by now, this building in the heart of downtown Lake Oswego should look more like the headquarters for Buena Vista Homes, but instead, its founder is accused of defrauding the bank, Banner Bank there, who supported him in these endeavors and possibly others along the way. For many people in the community, Roger Pollock was more than a successful home builder. He was a philanthropist, making charitable commitments to the community, including fundraisers with celebrities like Gene Simmons at his Lake Oswego home. But according to court documents we obtained, the same Roger Pollock is now accused of making material misrepresentations about progress on an office building project in Lake Oswego and funneling hundreds of thousands of dollars in Banner Bank construction loan proceeds to his resort project in Mexico. Enter Hacienda Cerritos. I think for you know to hear those kinds of allegations about anybody would be surprising. Justin Wood with Home Builders Association of Portland tells me Pollock was an involved former member. His award-winning company, Buena Vista Homes, was responsible for major growth in the Happy Valley area. But like many home builders during the recession, Wood says Pollock fell on hard times. A lot of builders bought properties, and um, then when the economy turned down, the value was no longer in the properties. And so if the builders didn't have the collateral or the assets behind them. But but how Pollock recovered made news even back then with lease to own homes in Happy Valley. We interviewed this couple in 2009 who tells us they paid Pollock's Buena Vista homes thousands of dollars in monthly payments towards their dream home, only to find out that the builder had not been using their money to pay back the bank. When we got the, the notice that he was not paying the bank, um, you know, we kind of, we were obviously angry about it and not happy, but we found out that he ran off to Mexico. On his business profile, Pollock credits his integrity as part of his success. He's now accused of making death threats against many witnesses. I know he was prominently featured as a, uh, as a, as a, a good builder by a lot, by a lot of uh, understandings in the early 2000s when he was really doing well. Live now, Pollock was granted a line of credit from Banner Bank here for millions of dollars. He's accused of defrauding them out of over $700,000. I did check with a financial fraud expert, and he tells me that these kind of crimes, they really do hurt everyone by passing off the costs in some form to consumers. Live in downtown Lake Oswego, Jessica Morkert, Coin 6 News.